Part 2 on the Astrology of Roe v. Wade If you're looking to understand more information on the Astrology of Roe v. Wade, click this comment here to watch my Part 1 video. Part of the Supreme Court's official decision is that they made the illegalization or the legalization of abortion and certain contraceptions a state-regulated decision. And the astrological aspect that I really think is going to kick that off will be taking place on June 29th when the Sun in Cancer goes square with Jupiter in Aries. A square in astrology is when two or more placements create restrictions and obstacles for each other, pushing each other to work hard together to integrate each other's energies. Cancer in astrology represents our emotional, spiritual, and moral foundation. It's the sign of the mother, the home, the family. And the sun in Cancer represents where we find the most pride, the most confidence, the most ego, the most creative expression of Cancerian energy. And so the sun in Cancer can represent confidence and ego and expression and creativity around what defines being a mother, what defines being a family, what defines the security of our home, our morals. And so what many of you may not understand is that the United States as a country is a cancer. The zodiac sign of the USA is a cancer. And by the Supreme Court returning that power over abortion to the states, you have 50 different states with 50 different definitions of that cancerian energy, 50 different definitions of moral fundamentals, emotional fundamentals, family fundamentals, what defines a mother? What defines that security? Now Aries, Aries is the sign of self. It's the sign of identity. It's the sign of our instinctive purpose, the fundamental instincts of life. This is the why. This is our initiative. Jupiter in Aries represents the expansion and growth of self, the expansion and growth of identity, the expansion and growth of purpose expansion and growth with our philosophies and ideologies and belief systems around self, around purpose. What rights do we have to ourself? What rights do we have to our sense of purpose? How do we grow that? How do we progress that? And for many people, an unwanted, a non-consensual, or a high-risk pregnancy can prevent them from doing that. And for other people, they believe that the termination of a pregnancy prevents the expansion of self, prevents the expansion of ideology, prevents the expansion of purpose and identity. As the Sun and Jupiter get closer and closer to that square, we're going to see more and more examples of that clash, of that conflict show up in our society. Aries and Cancer both represent cardinal fundamental principles, Cancer being the foundation of motherhood and family, Aries being the foundation of self and identity. Are you interested in learning more about how to use astrology to navigate your life and navigate the world that we live in? Sign up for a reading, link in my bio.